ask an Italian where they will most like to live, and the odds are that they will say right here. Indeed, if you travel to Italy, you'll discover that it really does have it all. The country has one of the most diverse and beautiful landscapes in Europe the world's greatest variety of art treasures and relatively moderate climate and a delicious and authentic national cuisine. However, today we will look at 10 Italian traditions that make this country unique. Traditions that will include love, witches, food, and more. Before we start, don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our videos. Ten, La Befana is an old Italian Christmas tradition dated at the 13th century. It is celebrated on the 6th of January the day of the Epiphany. On the night of January 5th, La Befana travels on her magic broom to every house in Italy bringing gifts. Climbing down the chimneys, she brings candy to the children that were good and black coal to the children that were naughty. The children used to leave out their Christmas stockings hoping to awake on the morning on January 6th with some candy. In fact, this witch is like the Italian Santa Claus. Many of the children write notes to La Befana and even leave out food and wine for her to enjoy. Nine, Notte Bianca. Notte Bianca, or White Night, which occurs on the evening of April 30th, celebrates spring with a night where no one sleeps. For this evening, museums, shops, and restaurants stay open late, and the streets are alive with festivities such as street performances and live music. The city turns into a one giant party for the evening, leading into the Italian national holiday on May 1st. 8. Never choose a Friday for your wedding. Italians won't choose Fridays as the day to say I do. It is said that evil spirits are created on this day of the week. Best to go to happy hour instead and plan a wedding on a Sunday so you have the best luck especially with prosperity and fertility. 7. Mixing food is not encouraged. There is a reason why every dish is served up on a different plate. If you are marrying into an Italian family and you don't want to upset your mother-in-law, you should refrain from mixing the dishes, even if they seem to have the same kind of sauce. If they're in separate plates, it's because that is how they're supposed to be. 6. Carnavale Traditionally, this is celebrated with Renaissance musicians, horses, dancers, and bands all coming together each year between February and March. There is a grand parade that travels throughout Florence with highlights such as the beautiful costumes, floats, and puppets. This celebration is also known in Venice. 5. Calcio Fiorentino Are you a soccer fan? Football fanatic? And do you love a good hockey fight? Calcio Fiorentino is a crazy but fun sport that you never knew it was missing from your life. Originating in Florence during the Renaissance, Calcio Fiorentino is a 15-minute roller coaster ride of emotions. The game, which some have referred to as barbaric, is what you get if you take soccer, rugby, and hockey and mash them all together. 
4. Stay away from mirrors. If you are a bride, you'll have to ask your makeup artist, hairstylist, maid of honor, and bridesmaids how you look. You are not supposed to see yourself in a mirror prior to the wedding, unless you remove a shoe or glove first, which I guess it might not be a high price to pay. Three, La Copa de la Michizia. Hang out with some friends on a cold winter night and drink from La Copa de la Michizia or the Friendship Cup. And every time you drink, you have to do a cheers to something. Doesn't matter how random or crazy it is, you have to cheer. It originated in the Valle d'Aosta, in the northern Italy, so realistically, after a date out skiing in the Alps with the friends, who wouldn't like to come back home and get tipsy together? 2. Get some red underwear. Treat yourself to a special gift right after Christmas. You'll see red undergarments for everyone in all the stores. Both men and women are expected to wear them on New Year's Eve. It's supposed to bring you luck for the new year. If you're hoping to start a family, it's also the color of fertility too. And last but not least, All Saints Day. La Festa di Ogni Santi in Italy celebrates all those who have entered heaven. The history of this religious celebration dates back to the early 4th century. It's a day celebrated every year on November 1st. The holiday wasn't actually recognized until the early 7th century by Pope Boniface IV, who devoted Rome's pantheon to the Virgin Mary and all martyrs. We have arrived to the end of our list. We hope you have enjoyed learning about these Italian traditions. Don't forget to leave some comments, or perhaps you would like to share some additional information on this topic. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.